Hi everyone, welcome back to Fanatical About Fans and today we're looking at the difference between axial and centrifugal extractor fans. Now to demonstrate, I've got a prime example of each fan here, the easily recognisable Expoled DX100 with those very uh, iconic orange blades and uh, the Expoled DX200 which is the model up from that. Uh, both of them are 4-inch ducting, so there's no unfair advantages there. Um, although for today's test, I'm going to be using this, which is pretty much identical to this one here. Uh, it's an Explorer Zodus uh, DX, well, XX100, I think the model name was actually. Um, but that's because it's already wired up, and I've just wired up the centrifugal one. Um, and I must say, actually, internally, the differences are very similar of the two axial fans. Um, there's really not much that's changed other than the housing and the... Uh, the impeller, which you can see obviously is orange on that one, and uh, later changed to white, which is uh, a bit disappointing. But these are actually discontinued now, so uh, again, these are becoming slightly older. I did have some trouble with the Explorer earlier. It needed a bloody good clean, uh, as this is the first time I've wired it up, and uh, it was used quite heavily in a bathroom before um, I'd got it, so... It's uh, obviously a lot of the screws inside were corroded, but uh, I think just looking from the outside, it seems to have had new screws around the outside just because it would have been in quite a steamy environment for most of its life. So obviously that is reflected inside. You can see here it's quite dirty and dusty. Uh, I don't think this has been once cleaned in 40 years, if I'm honest. So uh, it needed a good oiling. Uh, see me putting some oil in the motor there and uh, it, the spin down was considerably improved after that uh, yeah you can see it made quite a difference actually putting the oil on there but it was a real find actually this extractor fan and i've also got a genuine expolaire gravity grill here um, these are quite hard to get hold of now but uh, i only managed to find that because it was part of the set which came with this dx100 gt uh, because you may have noticed it is the window model so it came with luxuries such as this rubber gasket here to attach to the window to prevent it from damaging the glass um, and obviously that gravity grill to go on the other side um, but this is what I was sort of going on to with my point about axial and centrifugal extractor fans um, my point being that you'd have to have this gravity grill directly outside that the wall that this was mounted on because obviously these axial fans have a very simple job of just moving air through a straight through wall installation now, the benefits to having these centrifugal fans is that they can be put in ceiling mounts or general installations with longer ducting requirements that may go through a ceiling and then up through another vent. Whoops, nearly went over there. Because these were very popular in um, interior bathrooms with no windows. Because if you've not got a window in the bathroom, the chances are you may not have an external wall. It might be somewhere in the house where it's quite difficult to get air out. So uh, a longer length of ducting would have been required. And then you'd still be able to have this on the outside because of the sheer amount of air that can be shifted by these. Uh, would still be enough to push the grills open. Whereas if you just had a simple through the wall type axial fan... Uh, put in a longer length of ducting you wouldn't have nearly enough airflow going through there to open the gravity grill um, so something to bear in mind and actually something you see quite a lot in uh, modern day bathrooms you just get axial fans shoved into the ceiling and uh, they don't produce nearly enough power to actually get the air out of the buildings and uh, one more thing i'm going to do is i'm going to use this anemometer here to measure the output of the fans and uh, see just how different these two models are so without further ado let's power them on so we're going to start with the Axial Zodus fan here. Um, I'll just get that out of the way a bit so that we can measure some airflow. Uh, so I've got it on meters per second. Let's see. Okay, so I've just held it here for a few seconds and as you can see, it's at 1.5. So uh, that will be the benchmark for today. Uh, now I'm just going to turn that one off. Turn this one on. Just hear the centrifugal force roaring into play here. This really is a properly heavy duty fan. You've got um, full metal coverage at the back here. So it's pretty got a pretty good weight to it actually. Um, and you can see it's even got these metal shutters here, the butterfly shutters, which are quite nice. Um, see a bit of the fan working in there. So uh, without further ado, Let's stick the anemometer on. Oh, blimey. Already we've got three and a half. Yeah. Looks about 3.5 to me, that does. 
So that is quite a significant difference actually there. Um, I'm impressed by this one. It's um, still doing its job even after a good 40 so years on this uh, on this planet. In fact, one more thing I might do is just test this gravity grill on the centrifugal one here. Um, yeah, look, you can see that's having no trouble at all lifting those louvres up. Um, absolutely no problem there. Uh, I wonder how the axial fan will get on. So let's just grab that. Yeah, actually not bad at all. That's a pretty good effort, um, especially considering that it's not even fully flush. Um, obviously in most installations there would be a length of ducting here just to make sure that there isn't any air escaping. But uh, yeah, it just goes to show that the axial fans are still very capable of doing a good job. Just turn those off. Hopefully the spin down will have improved because uh, before when I hadn't oiled it, it was uh, pretty quick to spin down, which you wouldn't expect necessarily with an impeller the size of this one. Um, but it's still spinning now, actually, you can see. Um, I think it's just stopped now. Yes, there we go. Brilliant little fans, actually. So quite a difference between the two of them. Anyway, guys, that concludes today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe to see more of my videos in the future, and thank you for watching.